When I look around at the way things are going on, then I say to myself, how grateful we should be for everything that we have. Not anything we could not get. Put a smile on every face that we meet, for everybody hurts one way, somehow. But we can make it if we work together. Live a life to work for one another. What a lovely day. And so before bringing this lovely day to an end, I thought I'd cruise back over to Santa Fe Springs and visit with the uh, folks over here at Kaiser Transport. Just to say hello. Things have kind of changed around here, the layout of the land. Anyway, check it out, man. Looking sharp as ever. I caught old Jeff Houston rolling in. Look at that. They sure are a sharp looking outfit, man. That, that's something I just can't deny, man. Uh, I, I will always have love for Kaiser Transport. Anyway, we're heading south on Interstate 5 here, heading to San Diego. I got two drops to make in the morning. And for a while as I was cruising through here, I was like the only big truck heading south. I got kind of nervous, like, damn, is there a new rule? No trucks on <laughs> 5 South? Well, someone showed up eventually. I wasn't the only one, but we are made it to Oceanside. I can't believe it. We actually got a parking spot. Can you believe that, Pedro? That's amazing. 
Yeah, it's pretty difficult to find you a spot over here in uh, this rest area in Oceanside, California. Sometimes you get to see the Navy SEALs or the Marines out training and all that. It's the Pacific Ocean right there, if you can't tell. I don't think you could tell unless I told you, but nice spot. Gosh, it was nice weather. Loved it. Back in a minute. Well, hey there, my name's Jimmy Cole, and I'm the Traveling Man. Since 2009, I've been sharing my experiences on the road as a long-haul trucker on YouTube under the handle Dooner Livingstone. Since that time, I've driven some of the coolest trucks, hauled some of the most awesome freight, and met some of the most awesome people. In this industry, you gotta be tough. It'll chew you up and spit you out. Learn to improvise, adapt, overcome, deal with emotion, dealing with crappy equipment. We got many miles behind us and many more to go. So jump in, strap in, and let's get to trucking. Well, the following morning, I made it down here to San Diego to kick off the last two drops of the whole load here. It happened pretty quick. And luckily, I was able to pick up a load of these empty reels that get me home, man. That's a pretty common thing now, and I'm really digging that. So I'm literally eastbound and down. I'm heading for the house. And we've got several stops along the way for little Pedro and me, you know. Now, here we are spending all our time together and there are moments where I have to leave little Pedro in the truck, like for me to use the restroom, for me to clean up and whatever. That separation anxiety I spoke about in the last video, well, here's another example. I'm gonna stick the camera right up to the window so he doesn't see me. He's like, what is that? What is that? It's an alien. <laughs> oh. I missed you too, bud. <laughs> oh, oh, God, oh, God. Stay in there. <laughs> and, well, that's all I got for you this week, folks. I've made it home, and uh, I'm preparing for uh, my next trip for next week. For the next two weeks, or maybe three weeks. Who knows? I don't know, man. Whatever happens, happens. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Get this video liked if you think it was worth it. And I'll catch you next time. Hey, everybody. This is the Traveling Man, Dooner Living Stone. Would you like to be a part of the show? Send me a video via Facebook Messenger or send me a private message on Instagram. I ain't too hard to find. There's only one Dooner Living Stone on this planet. Send me a video of your truck. What you're hauling. Show me some weird ass talent you got. Whatever. Something to be a part of the show. Share your opinion. Share your thoughts. You ain't got to be a truck driver to do it. Just whatever. You want to be a part of the show? Send me something. I'll put you up. If I like it anyway. No masturbating. No porn. None of that kind of shit. What the fuck, Chuck? <laughs>